greetings my esteemed subscribing tons. I am checking in from Hyperborea. Feels great, mate. Scotty has blessed us with a beautiful landscape. Now I thought to talk a bit about the gods and the ancestors and specifically my teaching of the ancestors are watching. Now what this means is not that we must believe that all of our ancestors were flawless heroes of great bravery and that we all descend from great kings and stuff like that. So it essentially means that you are accountable to someone. Now if you are a Germanic pagan for example you can view it in the way that Tyr is watching you and he is judging you, he is approving or disapproving depending on what you do. So if you think of it that he's always watching you then uh, yeah you will be more inclined to make the correct just righteous decisions if you're a christian you can do the same thing with jesus that jesus is watching you and um, you know approving or disapproving depending upon um, your activity you can even view me in the same way so if you are about to dishonor yourself in front of the computer by watching some porn, remember that I am watching you. If you watch porn, I am watching you in turn and I disapprove greatly. And uh, speaking of something that is related, actually coaching. So whatever coaching, we can talk about strength training, online coaching, which I don't do anymore by the way, it takes too much time. Now the best benefit of it it's not because you gain some you know secret esoteric teaching it's because you're accountable to someone that is actually the main point of it that you need to check in with someone say this is what i did or did not do during the week uh, so you can view the teaching of your ancestors are watching in the same way basically that you're accountable to someone or a group of people and you don't want to do something shameful in uh, in their eyes so for example think of the hardships your ancestors went through compare that contrast that contrast that against some hardships you might go through and you, then you can visualize a few ancestors saying to you you know what this is something you can definitely push through because we know how it is and we also did it and uh, you know we believe in you we have your back, stuff like that. So it's not necessarily to view your ancestors as better individuals or super heroic individuals. They were also, you know, if you're a regular guy, being a regular guy is good, by the way, I say that as a compliment. If you're a regular guy and you go through some hardships, view your ancestors as fellow regular guys who just, just by virtue of having lived in certain centuries they can say to you yeah you know what you will get through this because our blood is within you we are also just regular guys we got through this you are us you are your ancestors it's actually a more accurate thing to say uh, that you are your ancestors than to say that your ancestors are watching so you can view it in that sense that you know it's just a group of individuals that believe in you so for me, I can actually pick and choose. I can say, yes, Tyr is watching me and he approves, hopefully, hopefully Tyr approves of what I'm doing. I can also think to myself, do my supporters approve of what I'm doing now? Um, do my ancestors approve of what I'm doing? And the, the answer here is basically the same. Uh, I believe that all of this, you, for example, you and Tyr and my ancestors, you're all you are all agreeing upon which course of action is good for me. Also, something to keep in mind is that this is not to say that we all need to be perfect. If you make a mistake, if you stumble, if you do something that is, you know, in retrospect was impulsive, I don't believe your ancestors will judge you overly hard because they probably did similar mistakes themselves. And again, this is the value of not viewing your ancestors as uh, flawless heroes, but view them as regular guys who have overcome some really tough times Because that also means that you can accept yourself as having flaws now I sound a bit like a hippie. This is not my meaning at all I don't want to say that you should 
love yourself the way you are you should hammer and uh, you know hammer out the gold in you and you know hammer away the impurities within you constantly the great alchemical work to perfect yourself it always goes on but I'm also saying that you shouldn't beat yourself up over you know some some minor flaws you might have or some mistakes that you know everyone makes mistakes so that's what I'm saying that um, that you should be able to forgive yourself as well but you should also try to learn from those mistakes so anyway the teaching of your ancestors are watching it's not even necessarily ancestral worship although that can be based and good as well but it's simply recognizing the fact that you are not alone you are accountable to others again if you are a Christian this someone is Jesus if you are a Germanic pagan this can be Tyr, Balder, Thor, Odin, Freya, whomever of the gods they're looking at you and whenever you have a tough decision to make you ask okay which is the correct choice there sometimes there is no correct choice because it's two similar paths but usually if you have a an option of okay I'm a bit tired today should I go to train what would Thor say to me he would say you know go to train it's good for you if you want to watch porn conjure up an image of me and a judgmental look on my face disapproving of what you're about to do so yeah that is something you can do as well so anyway I thought to clarify that thank you for watching thank you for your continued support I endeavor to live a life in which I make choices and take actions which you would approve of so I'm accountable to you to my ancestors and to the gods XOXO boom